when using the quantifiers we have in Python, we can, for example, do um, SHA or SHABC uh, within a character class and here specify, for instance, the question mark. The question mark means 0 or 1, which means that this regular expression match a string, a text that starts with a S S H and then either it has a, a or B or C or none of them. In this code sample we can find this match. Let's execute and see that we indeed do have a match. This is the meaning of the question mark. If we place um, the star, then we get a regular expression that match uh, text that starts with uh, SH and then it has uh, one of these characters, characters uh, zero times or more. Ah, instead of uh, applying the quantifier on a character class, we can also apply it for on, on other stuff such as um, backslash d, which means that this regular expression match any text that starts with uh, sh and then it has a digit zero or more times. Here in this code sample we have this match so we expect to have a match but if I change the star into plus then this regular expression match text that starts with uh, sh and then there is a digit uh, one, two, three, or more times. So now we can say that there isn't a match. There is no match. Because here we have sh and we have the letter a. If we add a digit, any digit, then we could say that we have a match. We can use curly braces in order to specify the exact times, number of times. Um, in this case, the digit should repeat itself. So if I specify, uh, for example, 3, it means that this is a regular expression that match text that starts with uh, SH and then there is a digit exactly three times. Uh, right now we don't have a match, let's execute, because we have only one digit, but if I put a few more digits, now we do have a match. Let's execute. Instead of specifying the exact number of times, we can say that at least three times, it can be more. Or we can say at the most three times. It can be also two or, or one. So right now if I check this regular expression we can say that we have a match. As so well if we put it like this, we still have a match. And even if I put more digits we still have a match because the match is with this text or we can say it is even with this or this we can also specify the number of times must be between a specific number and another specific number for example here we now have a regular expression that match 
text that starts with sh and then there is a digit five or six or seven times currently we can say that we still have a match so let's see it but if we add something like this then we can say that no match because this part of the regular expression says that there should be a digit 15 times or more but not more than uh, 27 so now we don't have a match